The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he'd been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that, was, that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. And it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, For Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Semper laudetur. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Pakibate din ng good morning ang ating katabi. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning for us to be together in worship. To our online parishioners, thank you also for being with us today. We now move to the 28th station of our 40 stations of Lent. Ikadalawampotwalong station na po tayo. And we focus on the image of the house of mercy. That is the meaning of the word Bethesda. Bethesda, or in Hebrew, Bethesda Tayin, means house of mercy. If Bethlehem means house of bread, Bet Esda means house of mercy. It is in this pool of Bethesda that, perf that Jesus performed another sign, another miracle. If you look at the itinerary of Jesus in the Gospel of John, he goes up and down north and south, Galilee and Judea. Judea, the center is Jerusalem. You go back a little, John chapter 2. What do we find in John chapter 2? The miracle at the wedding at Cana. That's in Galilee. And then he moves south. Jesus goes to the temple. He cleanses the temple. In chapter 3, you have Jesus in conversation with Nicodemus. In chapter 4, he goes back north. He passes by way of Samaria. He meets the Samaritan woman at the well. And then he goes to Cana, back to Cana. And in Cana, he met the royal official where he healed distance healing of the child of the royal official who was in Capernaum. And from Cana, now chapter 5, Jesus goes back to Jerusalem. So kung titinan po ninyo yung itinerary ni Jesus, Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem, Galilee. And Jesus now performs his miracle in Jerusalem, another miracle. The healing of the crippled man who was ill for 38 hours long years. So Bethesda is the house of mercy because this is where Jesus healed the man who has been sick for 38 long years. 
Let's do a little characterization of this man in Bethesda. Because strange that Jesus asked him, first of all, do you want to be well? Gusto mo bang gumaling? Strange question from Jesus because, obviously, Lord, obviously, may sakit nga eh. Ano bang gusto ng may sakit? Di ba gumaling? Eh, ba't kailangan pang itanong, do you want to be well? Kasi nakita ni Jesus sa mamang ito ang what psychologists would call today as learned helplessness. Learned helplessness is a condition of the mind where a person has lost all hope because he keeps on trying and he fails all the time and nothing happens. Learned helplessness is a psychological malaise or illness when you don't want to be made well anymore. You have learned to be helpless because time and again you tried and you failed and you learned to be helpless. Wala na mangyayari sa buhay mo. I think nangyari yun sa taong ito kasi 38 long years, no? Nandun ka sa pool of Bethesda where perhaps every year miracles happen, people get healed. You are very near the place where you can be healed and you are not healed for 38 long years. So siguro the man has all but given up. No more hope for him. So Jesus asked him directly, Do you want to be well? Gusto mo bang gumaling? Ano po yung sagot ng mama? Imbis na sumabi ng, Opo, syempre naman Lord, gusto ko pong gumaling. Hindi. Ang sagot na kay Jesus ay, Eh, wala hong nagdadala sa akin sa tubig. No one put me in the pool when the water is stirred up by the angel. That's the, that's the tradition. When the, when the angel visits the water, then it becomes miraculous and someone who dips in the pool would be healed. And sabi nung may sakit, eh, wala akong nagdadala sa akin dyan eh. Yan. Yun po yung classic attitude of someone who has learned to be helpless. Wala akong nagdadala sa akin eh. Wala akong nangyayari sa buhay ko. 38 years na ako dito, wala naman ng wala naman <laughs> pagbabago. So he, is, he has become helpless and he has accepted his condition. At sinabi pa niya na, eh, wala nang nagdadala sa akin sa baba. Tapos, naunahan pa ako ng iba. Because nobody brings me there. So, when I am on my way, nagsisikap naman po ako, nagsisikap naman ako, hindi naman ako tamad. When I am on my way, someone else gets there before me. So, talo ko. Learned helplessness. Talo nan. Kolelat. Nagtatry naman ako, pero lagi akong talo, lagi, kong, lagi akong failure, lagi akong luhaan. Helplessness. He has learned to be helpless. That's why Jesus had to ask him, gusto mo bang gumaling? Kasi parang okay ka na eh, ayaw mo nang gumaling eh. And maybe you cannot fault the man for that. He has been there for 38 years. And nobody helps him to go down to the pool, and everybody goes before him. And yet Jesus immediately told him, get up take up your mat and walk. And he did. Instant healing. Instant healing for the man. But the man went around, you know, and the, the people saw him, especially the Jewish leaders, they saw him carrying his mat. It was a Sabbath. A Sabbath day that he was not supposed to do that. So, tinanong naman siya ulit ng mga uh, Jewish leaders, oh, Sabbath ngayon, ba't may dadaladala kang banig dyan? Di pwede yan. Ano yung sagot nung pinagaling ni Jesus? Imbes na sabihin na, I'm just too happy because I have been healed. Anong sagot? Eh, hindi ho ako. Yung mama ho, na nagpagaling sa akin, si ho nagsabi sa akin na magdala ng aking banig. Ano? Imbes na magpasalamat kay Jesus, put the, blaming, put the blame on Jesus. Siya ho, siya ho nagsabi sa akin, kaya ako dala-dala yung mat. Hindi po ako may kasalanan nito, yung ho nagpagaling sa akin. At tinanong naman siya, eh, sino yung nagpagaling sa'yo? Hindi ko ho nakuha yung pangalan eh. Di ba? Pinagaling ka na. 38 years kang hindi makalakad. May, pinag- may nagpagaling sa'yo. Hindi mo lang talaga hinanap kung sino siya. Di ba? Kung ikaw naman ang pinagaling, 38 years ka na andyan sa banig mo, di ba? Hindi papayad. Hindi mo makita ulit yung mama. Sino nakatagpo sa kanya? Si Jesus din. At nang nagkita sila ulit, second time, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, look, you're well. You're well. Do not sin again. And and the man, instead of saying, thank you, thank you, Jesus, it's you. Ano pong ginawa nung pinagaling? He told the Jews about the man. Oh, hindi ho ako may kasalanan, ha? 
Ako, daladala ko yung mat ko kasi sabi ho nung mama, ngayon kilala ko na kung sino siya. Pangalan niya ho, Jesus. Oh, ayun. And the Jews began to persecute Jesus. Pinagaling mo na't lahat, sinuplong ka pa. Yan. Pakitan nung nga ang katabi mo. <laughs> May tao ba sa buhay mo na ganyan? No? Parang ginawa mo na't lahat. No? Tinulungan mo na't lahat. Pero ikaw pa masama. There are many people who have learned to be helpless. Like this man. They have learned not to give up on life. And they don't want to, to, to lift a finger anymore in their condition. Hanggang dito na lang ako, kahit anumang try ko, wala ang mangyayari pa rin, at failure pa din ako. And then, kapag ka may medyo maganda nangyayari, o kung hindi man maganda nangyayari, you keep on blaming people around you. Uh, yeah, it's, you, have, you have forsaken your responsibility of yourself. You are not in control of yourself anymore because you have learned to be helpless. But in the midst of this attitude, Jesus still showed mercy. Always kindness and mercy. And this is what we ask Jesus today. Lord, help me from my helplessness. Heal me from my lack of faith and hope that you can do something in my life. Help me to take away this negativity, these negative thoughts, these negative attitudes in my life. Help me heal this. Pero sa totoo lang po, kung tutuusin sa buhay ng mga tao ngayon, oo, may personal and with disabilities tayo physical. Pero maraming beses, ang disability po ng tao, hindi physical. More often than not, our disability is in the mind. We have lost all hope and we have learned to be helpless, lazy, and don't want to try anymore because we have been subjected to so much failure in life and we don't want to try again. But the Lord tells us today, beautiful message of Jesus. Take up your mat, rise, take up your mat, and walk. Get up, get up. Yeah, the Lord is telling us today, get up, get up, you are made well. Look, you are well, you are well, and the Lord will make you well. And we have to have faith in Him, to entrust everything to Him in our life. Take up your mat, rise, and walk. Praised be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Maraming salamat po sa inyong paglalo sa ating banal na misa. Thank you to our pilgrims and visitors. Thank you for being with us. To our online parishioners, salamat din po sa pagsama sa ating dasal ngayong araw na ito. We pray for healing again. We pray for healing, not just of those with physical illness, but more so with those who are suffering from learned helplessness. May they be freed and liberated from this condition of losing hope and appetite for life, we ask the Lord to show His mercy upon them as He healed the man who was ill for 38 long years. Pwede pa, ho, pwede pa tayong mapagaling. Kahit gaano katagal yan, the Lord comes to heal us and to show us His mercy. Bethesda, house of mercy. That's what the Lord wants you to visit, His house of mercy. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.